Welcome, everyone. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. My name is Alexa, COO at BPM RIA, that is Broward, Palm Beach, Miami Dade Real Estate Investors Association, your only local chapter here in South Florida that is partnered and in compliance with the National RIA, that is the National Real Estate Investors Association. Um, a lot of our mentors, our students definitely probably probably know this, but a lot of our mentors and our CEO are actually on the National RIA. Um, I think, believe this is the winter conference cruise, um, which funny enough, it's a winter conference, but they're riding through the Caribbean right now. So that's pretty funny. So we just love that we're able to get together and super grateful to have these opportunities to network, learn um, all these amazing things with these awesome people that we're in connection with who were actually connected with Andy Heller, our featured educator for tonight. He's going to get into his topic. He's going to tell you all the things he's about, but I do have a couple quick announcements for you guys before we get into our session today, real estate sale of the century. So just to let you guys know, um, somebody will be getting paid in our session tonight. So please, if you are interested in opting into the raffle, our raffle tonight is one year membership to BPM RIA, a $295 value raffle. All you need to do is text the word membership to this number right here. Make sure you text just the word so that this triggers the workflow. <laughs> so guys, I know you love to write some other notes and funny things in there, but to trigger into the raffle workflow, text just the word membership to this number here, 954-800-6961. And I know you guys are still trickling on in here. So I'm going to pop that in the chat for you all. And good luck. I'm really looking forward to you guys having a chance to win this. And Chris, I love you for popping that in the chat, but make sure you send that word to this number here on the screen and in the chat box so that you can have a chance to win the raffle. All righty, moving right along, guys. We have a lot going on here, a lot of upcoming events. And you guys can find these upcoming events right on our website on bpmreia.com. So if you click the link in the chat box, you'll find all the events that are coming up. And I highlighted this one, big yellow circle, stars, highlight, bold, underline. We have a training with Andy Heller, our featured educator for this month, all day Saturday. So please guys get like, I've been telling you guys for the last month, get your groceries ordered, put it in your little, little phone, you know, schedule for pickup. You can save your time doing all that shopping for the Super Bowl parties and come to our workshop on Saturday. It is on Zoom. It is free. I literally begged Andy, you guys have no idea. I begged him. He's also giving a bonus. So you guys must take advantage of this opportunity. We want everyone who can possibly come to this workshop to make it. Um, and I will record this session and it will only be live for a very short time. So if you miss it, I will record it for you, but it won't be active forever. So you might as well come to the real deal, the live event. So you can ask your questions to Andy. It's not every day that we have his time. We are so, so thankful that we get all of this time with him and we can ask as many questions as possible. And everyone who's attending this class will get a free book. We'll talk more about that um, towards the end of the session. So just so you guys know, we also have two webinars next week. Anish Dave, our CEO, will be teaching a class on techniques to get better pricing with sellers and buyers. We will be having our last raffle for the two-day uh, boot camp one last seat will be given out for free for our two-day quick start coming up in a week and a half and then we also have a membership benefits workshop that I am teaching I'll be teaching a free webinar on Thursday I'm going to tell you guys all of the benefits for being a member of BPM RIA which also gets you the national RIA membership benefits package um, which you get to save a ton of money which pretty much pays for your membership. And I will be giving away a free membership during that webinar. So looking forward to seeing you guys two times next week 
Um, that'll be a nice treat. And right around the corner, you guys know it, it's coming up. We've been talking about it for quite some time now. We have our next two day boot camp, February 17th and 18th. It is via Zoom. It's completely led by our team. Anish Dave teaches the entire training, and we have four key speakers on that training that are all a part of our power team. And they all touch almost every single deal that comes through the RIA, through our uh, mentor students, through our mentors, through our CEO. They're all, you know, a part of the deal. So they know what they're doing and they're really happy and excited to share with you and answer your questions and spend two full days with you guys. It's a long time. You're going to get a lot out of that one. Um, and of course, we have a tax planning strategy coming up right around the corner at the end of this month. So look out for that. This will be posted to the website ASAP. The rest of these you will find on our website right now on bpmria.com. Alrighty, moving right along. If you'd like to keep up with our events via text, it is super easy. All we need to do is text the word BPMREIA to our event line. It is 954-800-6961. Please text all one word to this number right here. I pop that in the chat for you guys as well. We got to keep on moving, you guys. We have a lot to cover tonight. So just to recap, the two-day quick start is coming up February 17th and 18th. We're going to get into wholesaling, flipping, and rehabbing. We're going to have four key speakers on this training. This is a money back guarantee training. You spend the first full day with us. Um, you absolutely are like, this is not for me. We still love you. It's okay. Um, we're more than happy to give you your money back after the first day. If you spend two full days, you know, that's a little bit different. But if you spend the first day, you're like, this is not for me. We can talk about it. Money back guarantee. We offer member pricing and non-member pricing. I pop the link in the chat for you guys because I want you to look at the topics we cover. I want you to look more into the business owners that we have teaching on this event so you can see if it's worth your time. I promise you it's an absolutely incredible training. Super, super awesome. Um, and I get a lot out of it each time I attend. So I think you guys will absolutely love it. And we already have a lot of you in here joining us. So excited to see you guys and spending that time with you all. Alrighty, members, as you know, you get all the goodies, you get all the benefits, you get the discounts, um, and most importantly, the discount package from National RIA that will get you benefits to Home Depot, Rent Perfect, Cama Plan, Avis Budget, the list goes on. So I went ahead and put the link in the chat for you guys who do not have your memberships yet. Um, you will get in free for our four quarterly networking meetings per year. Your guests come in for half price at $10. And you have member pricing on the boot camp and special workshops like that that we do throughout the year. All righty. Last but very not least, one on one coaching and mentoring at BPM RIA. Some of you may know that we offer one on one coaching programs here. Some of you may not know. For those who have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll tell you a little tiny bit, but I have something for you right here. So we put up 100% of the money for our students' deals. We split the profit 50-50. It is a truly one-on-one -on -one coaching program. You are matched with a mentor. And the best way to get more details on what's included in our coaching programs, how much it costs, what's going on, please, I invite you to book a discovery call on our website on bpmriaa.com. You will be booking a call with me, a nice quick call, about 30 minutes or so um, that we can discuss, you know, some more details about you. I can get you the brochure that has the breakdown of everything we include in the programs that we offer, as well as the pricing. And in this discovery call, I will be more than happy to schedule a one hour free consultation for you. Uh, we only take about, I think we only take eight students per month, so we don't take you know, we don't take everyone into the program. So please book your discovery call now so we can get you that information and I can help you schedule the free consultation and we can see if this program is a good fit for you guys. So I truly look forward to speaking with each and every one of you. I've spoken with so many of you that are in here tonight and we just have some awesome people in our community. And I'm so happy that we can get together and do events like these. We could not have these amazing events if it wasn't for you guys. So I do want to give a couple housekeeping rules before I let Andy come in here. Everyone, please put your questions in the Q&A box. You will see a box down in your Zoom menu. There should be some buttons in there. Um, one of them should say Q&A. 
please put your questions in the Q&A box. We don't miss any of them. Um, Andy will be breaking for questions at the end. So we don't want you guys to, um, you know, hold on to those questions. Just go ahead and pop them in the Q&A and we will answer them as soon as Andy breaks for questions. But before Andy comes on, you guys, I'm going to be sending a ton of helpful links in the chat box for you guys. And I know some of you have seen Andy before, but for those who have not, you guys that may not know, but Andy is actually from Florida. He grew up in Florida. He went to UF. He's based out of Georgia. And we did have him come speak for the RIA. I believe it was two years ago, Andy, in person. So I'm really yeah. sorry if you didn't get to see him in person. But please, I know this is online. It's not the same. I don't want to hear it. You know, we're going to make the most out of tonight. And we're going to make the most out of Saturday with him. We want to get... We want to nail him with the questions, you guys. We are not afraid, people. So please get those questions in the q and I'm telling you right now, Andy can take it. So we already, <laughs> we, are, we already got him in person. You know, we got him online tonight. That is totally fine. But please engage with him. Feel free to engage in the chat box. We'll be, we'll be peeping over there. But please, if you have absolutely any questions, put those in the Q&A. Um, and we'll be happy to um, answer those at the end. And yeah, and we are recording tonight. So please and put your questions in the Q&A before you hop off. I'm begging you because <laughs> we will get that. We will get that in the recording for you if you do have to hop off. But please get those questions in. So without further ado, Andy, thank you for thank coming you. tonight. We love it. And um, yes, guys, I'll be here in the background. So. And he's going to do his thing, and um, I'll announce that winner at the very end. Thank you, Alexa. So can you hear me okay? Yes, all good. Great, great. So before I start, everybody, I want to give a couple of housekeeping comments and, and kind of emphasize what Alexa said. So first of all, you know, I've been teaching around the country since 06. Uh, I've been investing since 1990. I'm not a kid any longer, so I've seen different cycles. And uh, what I want to start with a couple really important things before I begin my presentation. First of all, I want to emphasize what Alexa said. I grew up in Florida. Other than my home invested market of Atlanta, there's no state that I know the real estate market as well as your state. So it's not often that you have a national speaker who comes and is personally familiar with your market and arguably has the two sexiest topics for real estate investors. So I have an added bonus that I know Florida very well. Uh, second, as I do my seminar today, I want you guys to imagine, I know it's kind of goofy, this what I'm going to say now, but imagine it was 2007 and somebody came from the future and said, hey, the real estate market is going to reset next year. And if you do the following couple of things, you'll be in a position to capitalize on that reset and you'll have a generational opportunity to make money. Well, obviously I'm not from the future, but we all know what happened in 08. The market reset in August of 08. And the result was basically a real estate sale for two, three or four years, depending on what part of the country you lived in. And those investors that were ready set themselves, set themselves up for life. The great thing about right now is we're seeing some of the same signs we saw in 07 today. So if my seminar today resonates with you, whatever you have going on on Saturday, cancel it. Because we'll be talking about what to do today to get ready for what's coming tomorrow. Do I think there's a great opportunity right now? That's eh, okay. Do I think that tomorrow is going to be an amazing generational opportunity? Absolutely. And that's why. Alexa and Anish brought me back after two years, said, you've got to come back to Florida. We're starting to see those signs you were talking about when you came live. And I want to make sure our members can be ready for this opportunity. So without further ado, and as Alexa said, today I'm going to have time for maybe two or three questions till Alexa says it's time and 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 we and let's everybody go to bed. Uh, but on Saturday, I will budget about two hours for your questions, all right? So we're really gonna, whatever we're talking about today for, 
for five, for three, four or five minutes, I'm probably going to spend a half an hour on on Saturday. Today is an overview. Saturday is a deep dive. So let, without further ado, let's get started. So if you are tuning in tonight to make money, and you want to be true that you can make enormous profits buying bank-owned properties for pennies on the dollar, then this seminar today may be the most important seminar you've ever attended in your life, especially since 99% of active real estate investors don't know what you're about to learn today. Now, statistics on making money don't lie. In this great country of ours, there are more millionaires created from real estate than from every other field of business combined. Now, a handful of years ago, a gentleman by the name of Al Gore, he invented something called the internet. <laughs> All right, if I'm live, I usually get some laughs there. But seriously, after the internet came, boom came, still statistically today, there are more millionaires created from real estate than from every other field of business combined. Now, I hope that makes all of you excited. It does for me. I want to take a moment. I want to thank Alexa and Anish for bringing me back to South Florida, even if it is virtually. And also, I'm I'm proud of all of you for attending. It tells me that you're all excited and eager to have a better life both for yourselves and for your family. So where are we right now in today's real estate market? We're kind of, like I said earlier, on the verge of an amazing opportunity. And I'm gonna show you how to buy bank-owned properties the right way for pennies on the dollar, either with or without using your own money. Now you'll begin to recognize if you don't intend to use your own money, you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. So <clears throat> I'm gonna make three promises to you before I get started. At the end of my time today, I'm going to show you how to uh, buy low, rent smart, and sell high. And I can virtually guarantee you that as a result of implementing this, you can put a minimum $25,000 in your bank account on any purchase of a bank-owned property. Now, all of you have an important decision to make today. And for many, it could be the most important business decision you made in your entire life. What the heck am I going to do on Saturday? Am I going to sit on my couch or am I going to educate myself and get ready for the next great opportunity. Hopefully the decision is a foregone conclusion. So I'm gonna make three promises to all of you before we get started. Promise number one, I'm gonna show you, I will teach you and I will help you to buy low. In fact, when I do that, I'm gonna show you how to find the best bank owned properties, get this, before they're listed on the general public on MLS, before anybody has any idea they even exist. The second promise is I'm going to show you how to rent smart. In fact, I'm going to show you how to rent your properties in days and weeks, not months. And seasoned investors have no idea how to do this. And my third promise, I'm going to teach you how to sell high. By that, I mean, I'm going to show you how to sell your properties for 100% of fair market value in any market with no discounting and no real estate commissions. Well, <clears throat> I believe in taking care of questions, big picture questions, right off the bat. So let's cover that. Does my system work everywhere? I got students all over the country. Can you do it without using your own money? Yes, you can do it without using your own money. And yes, you can do it without using your own credit. What about if you have no experience? Heck, if you're just getting started, there may be no easier way than learn how to buy from banks. What about if you don't have a real estate license? You don't need a real estate license if you want to be a real estate investor. What about time? Well, time is actually a big restriction for now. Take my word that if you're going to focus on buying from banks, you do not need a lot of time. What about the supply of deals? Since we buy from banks, there's always going to be banks in, banks in our country. There will always be a source for these properties. And finally, uh, will this work in each and every economy? Yes, it will. But there are some opportunities that are better than others. And I think we're headed towards one of those soon. All right. Now, don't trust my word for it, ladies and gentlemen in South Florida. What I'm about to teach today in my overview and in detail on Saturday is an investment model that was actually recognized by the leading magazine in the country teaching people how to get rich, Fortune Magazine. They called our model among the top five wealth building models for real estate investors. And soon, you guys will see why. Well, when I'm live, I ask a question. Is a million bucks what it used to be? Everybody says no. Then I go and I say, hey, 
Can you have a good life? Can you have a good retirement on 10 million? Everybody says yes. So now I'm going to pose the question, how do we real estate investors get from a number like a million to a number that can really change our life and really move the needle, 10 million? Well, I'm not going to answer that question right now. What I'm going to say is memorize this slide because in approximately 35 or 40 minutes, I will show you how you're going to get there. All right. So I do want to start with one testimonial, and this is a pretty powerful one because it's a fellow Florida resident. But Hans van der Kolk, he grew up in the Netherlands, and his dream was to grow up, was well, sorry, was to emigrate to the United States and to run a business in the greatest country in the world. And Hans landed here years ago with 300 bucks in his pocket. I met him five years later. At that point, he was buried in a job that he hated, had an American wife, and two little American citizens. He wasn't very close to his dream of being an entrepreneur in America. Then he met me. I coached him up and talked to him about my real estate strategy. He ignored my advice to start slow. And Hans bought six properties in his first two years. And he made enough money from the, the sale of a few of those properties to put it as a down payment on a business that he ran for 10 years. Let me repeat that what I said so you all understand this. This guy bought a business with the money he made part-time using what you're going to learn about today. But the reason why I'm talking about Hans's story is a great story about what led me to start teaching. So when we were contacted by Fortune magazine, they said, you know, guys, your model sounds almost too good to be true. Give us the name of other people, not you, who are using your model successfully. Well, this is before I was teaching around the country, everybody. I got one person I taught. It was Hans. I gave them Hans. I gave Fortune Hans's name. They flew down to Florida. They looked at his properties. And what happened? A few months later, in the article, in the magazine feature that talked about our model, whose picture was there? Not mine, not my real estate partners, but Hans's. So anytime, and that actually led me to begin teaching around the country. And so because of that great story, whenever I teach, be it live or on the internet like this, I challenge all those in attendance to become the next Hans. When I'm contacted by Money Magazine, Wall Street Journal, or whatever uh, a major publication, they say, give me the name of somebody who learned about your model and is making money in 2024. There's no reason, guys, why you can't be the next Hans. And he's sitting and doing his investing about four hours from where most of you live. All right, a little bit about me and my story. So shortly after college, I moved from uh, Florida to Atlanta to seek my fortune in the business world. I got a job with a company called Global Marketing Associates, and my title was International Logistics Coordinator. It's a very fancy title, but all I did, everybody, was I sat at my desk and I made 10, 11, 12 hours of phone calls and faxes and, and emails and telexes a day. And I was responsible for the logistics of picking up loads of frozen poultry from poultry plants in the Southeast, loading the poultry onto giant trucks, trucking the poultry to the ports, loading them onto these seaworthy vessels and shipping the poultry to Asia. Ladies and gentlemen, my job sucked. <laughs> and I met this guy named Scott. We pulled our resources and we bought this property that you see pictured here, a very flawed property with literally a 30 degree downward slope and driveway. Well, we put it on a lease option and a few years later, the property sold. We got a nice cash windfall. We got another property and another property. And then once this property sold and we got a, a cash windfall, we began at that pace to buy properties at a much, much faster pace. And at this point, when we started to sell properties, we didn't even need to go to our day jobs anymore for funding. We got the money from our rents and when properties sold. So the name of our model is Regular Riches because Scott and I are just a couple of normal guys that decided to leverage a small amount of money and buy properties and try to create wealth for us and for our families. We didn't begin with any advantages that uh, some people have. So if we can do it, so can you. So we picked the name Regular Riches. Our model is called Buy Low, Rent Smart, and Sell High. So let's get started. If you're ready to make more money, 
you don't know exactly what to say to sellers or you don't have the right tools, you will find yourself paying way too much for properties. Property you end up wishing you never bought in the first place. You end up missing out on 20 or 30,000 extra profits simply because you didn't realize you could have bought those properties for so much lower. If you end up looking like this poor investor, guys, give me a call. Maybe. Okay, my, oh. my video is my video's not working, guys. So let's hope the next one is. All right. So it's actually a cute video that hopefully will be working on Saturday. So there's lots of ways to invest in real estate. And we choose to focus on the foreclosure market as our way to source properties below market. Now, the foreclosure market is actually three different opportunities to for investors to make money. Let's look at the first two briefly first. The first opportunity is buying a property in pre-foreclosure. And this involves typically contacting a family who is about to lose their home. Now, you can make money buying pre-foreclosures, but what the books and the seminars and the, 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 the educators don't teach you is that it's kind of emotionally a hot mess. We went out to try to do this and I could not do this, guys. And I'll tell you of all the people on this, webinar right now, maybe one or two of you have the emotional wiring where you can do this. We couldn't. Your next chance to buy a foreclosure is on the courthouse steps. Again, you can make some money. But the problem with buying on the courthouse steps, ladies and gentlemen, is that most states require cash on the spot or cash within 24 hours. And that alone is going to eliminate most investors. The third opportunity to buy a foreclosure, before we get there, Let's talk about the number one reason why most new investors give up. If you're saying money is wrong, there's plenty of ways to start if you don't have any money. The number one reason why people give up is actually time. You know, that model that I went to try to do, I couldn't fit it into my day job. It was 30, 40 hours a week. So before we go any further, if I'm live on stage, I ask you to raise your hand if you can pull two to four hours a week away from whatever your job is or your commitments are to try to buy bank-owned properties. And everybody raises their hands, okay? So great. So that's all you need is two to four hours a week to buy property foreclosures the third way. These are from banks after the foreclosure sale. If you hear somebody say bank-owned, post-foreclosure, REOs, which stands for real estate owned, they all mean the same thing. These are properties that have gone through the foreclosure process and gone back to the lender. Now, this is our favorite way to buy property below market, South Florida, for a very simple reason. It's easy. It's just the easiest way we've ever found to buy property below market. And it's easy for two reasons. Reason number one is what you're not doing when you're buying properties from banks. You're not visiting 30, 40 families a month who are in a downward spiral whose lives are falling apart. You don't have to worry about title issues. Every property we've ever bought has been purchased with clean and clear title. You don't have to worry about access. Every property we've ever bought, we've been able to walk in with our contractor. We knew exactly what we were buying. So the first reason why it's easier is because so many of the, cha the challenges that we investors face when we buy properties other ways are not there when you're buying it from a business that doesn't want the stinking property in the first place. The second reason why it's easy is a bit of an anomaly. But one of the most important points I'm going to make tonight, you're going to get a deal, ladies and gentlemen, because it's a foreclosure. However, the legal process known as the foreclosure process is actually over. It ends on the courthouse steps. This is really, really important because many states are passing legislation or have passed legislation that affects what investors can and cannot do when they try to buy foreclosures. No legislation can ever affect you if you're buying a post foreclosure. Now, don't take my word for it. Don't take Fortune Magazine's word for it. <clears throat> the Wall Street Journal came out and said, buyers are likely to do better if they focus on buying bank-owned properties. Money Magazine gave five tips. One of them is buy from banks. So now you're hearing from Fortune, from Money, from Wall Street. But let's see what the market's telling us. Now, this is kind of what I was referring to when I earlier when I said, remember 
2008 and what happened. It did not just happen that market reset. There were signs in 06 and 07 that the market was about to reset. The number one sign, what we call in real estate a leading indicator, that the markets are going to change is when mortgage delinquencies and foreclosures rise. Look at these statistics, ladies and gentlemen. From the third quarter in 2022 to the third quarter of 2023, the 30-day delinquency is up 16%. Many of those people will lose their homes, future REOs. Foreclosure start rate in the same period is up 46%. This is not a sign that today the market is resetting. It's a sign of trouble today, which suggests that tomorrow the market will reset. In 06 and 07, there were similar statistics out there. And we all know what happened in August of 08, the start of a real estate sale. Now, okay, so we're talking about REOs. Great. I'm interested, Andy. What is a average discount on a bank-owned property? What should I expect? Hmm. How about 37%? When I'm live, I say, raise your hand if you think you're consistently buying property 37% below retail. You can make some money. Everybody puts their hands up. All right. So now <clears throat> the property has been foreclosed on. It's time to call the bank. Before we talk about the right way, let's have a look at an investor doing it the wrong way. Mr. Smith, hello, I'm Andy Heller. I'm an investor in Atlanta, and I just left a seminar that talked about buying bank-owned properties. And I was wondering if you could sell me some of your properties 40, 50% below market. Mr. Smith, hello, Mr. Smith, hello. Well, that video worked. Okay, <laughs> let's switch a second from what to say to the banks, what types of banks to call. All right, can you pick up the phone, call Wells Fargo, Bank of America? Some people say yes, some people say no. The answer is everybody's right. You can, but you're not going to have a lot of success. So let's talk first about the types of banks you can call directly. They are the smaller banks. They would include local banks. They include regional banks. It would include credit unions. And I want you guys to picture, instead of winging it like that goofball in the video, you got a script in front of you, a script that tells you exactly what to say when you get this person on the phone. And you'll be able to buy properties easily, 10, 15, 20% less than what another investor will pay who waits for that same property to pop up on MLS. There's even a nickname for this. It's called pocket listings. All right. Now, what about if it's a larger bank? Well, you can't approach the banks directly, but these banks are really, really structured. So these banks typically select the same agents in every community. We call these agents REO agents. So you still will approach the real estate agent right after the sale, and these agents will present the offers for you to the corresponding lender. Let me kind of show this in a, in a different manner how easy this is. There's really two stages. So Alexa, I'm going to pick on you. So Alexa, let's say you start making your phone calls in February 2024, and you buy... Uh, your first property from a small bank, all right? Let's say this one in the left-hand corner, all right? Bank of Palm Beach, all right? So you're going to follow the advice in our course, and you're going to take that REO manager out to lunch, and you're going to start to form a what? A relationship. Whether you realize it or not, Alexa, you've left stage one. You're now in stage two. You've got a personal relationship with a source at a bank, a source who's gonna have multiple properties. And guess what happens? In May, three months later, that same contact gets two properties back that are very similar to what you bought in February. And they think, well, you know what? I could find an agent, I can fix it up, I can market it, and that all might take three or four months, or I can just call Alexa. So Alexa gets that phone call, and all of a sudden, she's bought her second and her third property from the same darn seller. When I'm live, I ask you to raise your hands if you can go ahead and um, 
uh, accept those phone calls, everybody laughs and says, absolutely. It's not more complicated than that. Now, my favorite type of property that I invest in, that most of my students invest in, is the single family residential home. But if you're interested in a different type of property, how would the REO process differ? The answer is it doesn't. The REO process is identical, no matter what type of property you are looking to target. Now, let's talk about challenges. There's two challenges in the REO process, so let's talk about them. The first is money. Where's the money come from? The second is figuring out what's the right price to pay. So on both of these topics, we're gonna spend about a half an hour on, on Saturday, but let me give you an overview. All of you attending the seminar tonight, over your career, you will probably finance your properties with between two and four different financing strategies. They're probably gonna be on this list. One is the utilizing traditional investor loans, wholesaling, utilizing an equity partner, private money, hard money, utilization of blanket and portfolio loan, loan products, credit partners, commercial loans on residential properties, and finally, some of these banks will not only sell you a property for pennies on the dollar, but they'll generate a loan to do that since that's their core business. So again, I will spend a lot more time on this, but most investors will use between two and four of these financing strategies during their career. We'll discuss them all. Now, if I could give you a quick testimonial, Donald Kung began as a wholesaler. And after he got our course, his very first wholesale deal in the Bay Area netted him $15,000. And this is the Bay Area, guys. So, and his very first deal. Who here wouldn't mind to have seven or eight of these uh, uh, per month? Not bad, eh? All right, now let's go to the, um, the number one mistake investors make. They overpay. The problem is you're looking at properties that are very different. You, how are you gonna figure out what to pay for these very different properties? I remind you, I will spend a, a, probably about 45 minutes on showing you how to calculate always to the dollar, what is the right price to pay for properties. The cliff notes for now tonight is we will give you software where you will input four numbers, the fair market value, repairs and improvements, negative attributes that, that specific to that property, and finally, how long on the market, you'll press return, and our software will pop out what is the maximum you should pay for any of these prop properties you're looking at. This will ensure that you don't make the number one mistake investors make, and that is when they overpay. Jeff Nix used to be the president of the largest real estate area in the country, also was one of my students, full-time investor. And you can see what he says here. This calculation tool uh, takes the guesswork out of investing and make sure that you don't end up overpaying. So this next segment, also I'll probably spend about 30 minutes on this on Saturday. This is the key to what we do. So let's say right now we're in Florida, all right? And it's the month of February. And there are, let's say, 10,000 properties going through the foreclosure process in South Florida. And we know that most of those are going to go back to the bank. Well, we also know that it's impossible for us to call on all of these properties. We need a very, very simple way to get this down to a small number of properties we can focus on that fit our model. Well, we're going to show you how to use three criteria. They are location, loan amount, and loan type. And you will be able to take this big list and whittle it down to about 20 or 25 properties that you're gonna focus on every single month. So let's say right now, it's the last week of February and you've got 25 properties that you are following through the foreclosure process that are supposed to go to foreclosure in the first week of March. Now, you've got your 25, and you use our system correctly, it's gonna fail most of the time. Now, don't hang up. Don't get off this webinar. 
Don't be upset with Alexa. What in the world are you bringing a guy to teach us a system that fails most of the time? Okay, just give me two minutes. It will fail most of the time. But let me explain what I mean by that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a simple numbers game. So of your 20, 20 or 25, three or four of these properties, the last week of February, some friend or relative will give this family enough money to stop the foreclosure. What does that mean? It means you can't buy it in March, but it probably will come right back six or seven months later. Another three or four of the properties, the data on these reports is flawed. And that's okay because it's a what? Numbers game. Another three or four of the properties, you're going to make the phone calls using our scripts, but you can't reach the right person. It's okay because it's a what? It's a numbers game. So let's say you only reach eight or nine of these banks or REO agents. You're going to use my script. And again, some of them will blow you off. It's okay because it's a numbers game. So you end up speaking to three or four very seriously. And uh, you get in the car, you look at three or four properties, and you buy one or two each month. Now, when I'm live, I say, raise your hands now, ladies and gentlemen, if that ratio is now okay to you, and everybody raises their hands. <clears throat> it's at this point that I will point out to you, when my system fails, you're not spending four or five hours chasing a property you have no chance of buying in the first place. All you're doing is making a phone call. In fact, if you get into the car to actually spend any real time, think about it. You've spoken to the seller. You've established that you're an investor. You've established that you need a discount. The, he or she has said, okay, I'll play ball. So you know you have a good chance of buying the property. This is why it only takes two to four hours a week because you're not wasting your time chasing properties you have no chance of buying in the first place. Ladies and gentlemen, you can let me help you or you can beat your head against the wall. Those are your two choices when it comes to buying bank-owned properties for pennies on the dollar. 99% of active investors do not know how to do what I just went through right now. And if I could share a, a testimonial of a lovely investor who had just emigrated from France, got my course, and her first property, her learning curve property, she got it 50 cents on the dollar. Who here wouldn't mind that being your learning curve, eh, guys? So there is a re that I get asked very commonly, Andy, right? Why is there so little competition buying bank-owned properties? I go to buy short sales. There are hundreds of others doing that. I go to send pre-foreclosure letters, hundreds of others. There's maybe just a small number doing what you're doing. Why? Well, that's a great question. And there are five key reasons why. Number one, many wholesalers do not focus on REOs. They think they can't buy from banks. Big mistake. If you want to be a wholesaler, show up on Saturday. You've got to buy from banks. And banks should be your only source, at least your primary source. And I'll tell you why. Number two, many investors mistakenly think they cannot inspect REOs. Also, a big mistake. They're dead wrong. Many investors also believe mistakenly, well, if I'm buying from a bank, I guess I need a lot of money. No, you don't. And I'll talk about that also on Saturday. Number four, many investors don't know how to approach banks. This is actually true. And it's my job to show you the right way to do that. All right. And finally, many investors don't understand the REO process. I will also show you how that works. That's true. For these five reasons, if you go to do this, you will find a, a tremendous lack of competition because so many other investors are trying to buy properties different ways. So if you want to make money and close more deals, you're going to need a liber strategy that works great and a formula for buying properties for pays on a dollar. Knowing the right steps to buy in low and having the tools to do it, you'll be able to buy properties that 99% of other investors don't even know exist. And you make twice as much money as these same investors doing it their same old way. So let's now move on to the second of our three steps, rent and smart. So you, I know you have to agree with me. If you're ready to make more money, 
and you're just starting out or you don't know all the exact steps, you're going to throw away a lot of your money struggling to fill your vacant houses. And you're going to end up putting the wrong people in your houses that either don't pay you or they don't cash you out. Let's have a look at one of these investors struggling to fill his rental home. Hello, can I speak to Lily, the landlord, please? This is Andy. Hello. Yeah, this is Andy, your tenant in 5 Penwood Crescent. How are you, Lily? Good, good. Well, I'm calling you this month because I got a little bit of bad news and I got some good news for you. What's the bad news? Well, the bad news is I'm just going to be a little bit late on this month's rent because me and my brothers and sisters, we're all going to contribute and send Grandma on a singles cruise to the Bahamas. I should be able to get you September's rent paid in full by October 20th. So what's the good news? The good news is that I know you got that home that's vacant across the street, 9 Penwood Crescent. Well, you know what? It's not vacant no more because my brother Steve is moving down here from South Dakota with his eight kids. He wants that house and he's just like me. You don't have a darn thing to worry about. I wish I knew how to rent smart. Well, I think no matter what we've learned is that investor is so much cuter than the previous one. <laughs> okay. And you've all met my daughter, Lily. All right. So if anybody's attending the seminar tonight and you've heard about lease option, rent to own, lease purchase, do me a favor. For the next five minutes, throw what you know out the window. Give yourself a clean mind. Pretend you don't know anything about lease purchasing. Okay. Because that's what we do, but it's like nothing that some other investors have done in the past. Now, we have a large portfolio. I never get specific. I just don't think that's appropriate. But I will say that we average two or three phone calls per month. That's really low. Why do we get so few calls? Because of this vegetable. What does it mean? We utilize a carrot, the most powerful carrot available in landlording is the foundation of our entire rental strategy. And the great irony of this is that most investors don't use this at all. What we do, South Florida, is cut an old fashioned American deal. We give our tenants three things that we know that they want, and we know that other investors are not going to give them in exchange for three things that we want. Let's first talk about what we do for them. Number one, we give them the opportunity to buy a property at a locked-in purchase price. Nobody does that. The typical lease option carries an acceleration clause. Number two, we lock it in for, in for them, not for a year or two, but for three years. Again, very few lease options do that. And number three, simply by paying their rent, many of these tenants are able to accumulate all or most of the cash they need for their down payment. Now, when I'm live, I say, raise your hands if you feel that sounds kind of fair. Everybody puts their hands up. I say, great, it is fair, but it has to be fair. It has to stand out for you to get the three things that you want, your part of the deal. So what's the landlord's part of the deal? Number one, the tenant signs a minimum three-year lease. All of you active landlords who are renting your properties, think about how much more money you'll be making if you're not spending your time renting and re-renting property you already own. Number two, because the terms of the lease purchase are so favorable, the tenant accepts responsibility for repairs and maintenance. And that is a big reason why you get so few phone calls. But the third part of the deal is my favorite. And I'm not going to tell you. Oh, of course, I'm going to tell you. Alexa won't have me back. But I'm going to tell you with a hint. The hint is a large portfolio. Okay, Andy, I followed you so far, but now you lost me. How do we get a large portfolio from our tenants? It works like this. Some of these tenants will execute their buy options. Not all of them. And when they do that, that cash money will become your down payment, will become your rehab money to grow your business. Remember one of my first slides. I promise you I would tell you how you get from a portfolio that's valued at $1 million to a number that is, can really change your life, $10 million. The answer is right now, the cash 
money will be coming from your tenants when they execute their options to buy. They're not all going to do it. You don't want them all to do it. But enough of them will execute the options to buy that you, the investor, will have the capital you need to grow your business as big as you want. The money to grow your business will come from your tenants. Now, there's still a three-step process to getting the right tenant in in days and weeks, not months. Step number one, we will arm you with what's called a teaser ad. This teaser ad will generate 50 to 100% more calls per week than you're getting right now. Number two, this is a screening product that allows you to recognize before they step in your home who you want. Forget the ones who want your home. This will help you determine who you want in your property. And finally, a lot of times you have a very good problem. It's called multiple applicants, all right? So let's say you got three or four applications in one weekend. Oh my God, your head's spinning. Who do you pick? This is a very simple 10-point checklist that allows you to line up applications that may seem similar and, and identify which of this fa these families is most likely to pay and pay on time. Three simple steps to land in the perfect tenant. I want to shoot you with a, a quick testimonial. This guy, Jim, got my system in uh, Tampa. And um, his first lease option after getting our course, he is cash flow at $500 per month. Uh, when I'm live, I ask a show of hands. Does anybody have a problem with 15 or 20 of these? And I get universal hand raising. All right. You guys can be the next gym. All right. So this is the picture. All right. We don't even get, we don't even have our PO box any longer. Today's day and age, the lease payments are just deposited directly into our bank account. All right. So if you want the secret to rent and smart, here it is. The secret to rent and smart is making easy, making easy what was once hard because you'll be able to zero in on high probability prospects. You'll have small efforts turn into big results. Suddenly, you'll have three times as many people looking at your house and wanting to give you money. And you'll be able to fill your houses in a quarter of the time it takes other investors to do the same thing. All right, we're moving along. BPN. So let's say for the sake of our seminar tonight, we figured two things out. We got a regular rental system for buying low and rented smart. Our last step is you've got to know how to sell high. If you're ready to make more money and you don't have the exact steps or the proper tools, you're going to have buyers that love your homes, but you're not going to get the cash out of them. And you don't have been trained the right way. You don't have the tools to take them from a renter into a buyer. Let's have a quick look at one of these struggling investors. I'm so excited. I got that property below market to be able to flip it, walk away with $60,000, $70,000 of profit. Going to get myself that new car. Going to get Stephanie a new car. I'm going to get Lily that swing set she's been dreaming about for her birthday. I love real estate. I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. Just one month, no offers, no big deal. Just going to lower the price a bit. I'll tell Stephanie she's not going to get that car, and we'll sell the house. Okay. Two months, no offers. I don't understand it. I'm getting a little bit nervous. So I just reduce the price a little bit, and we'll move the house. Three months, not one offer. I didn't get a low ball offer. Okay, I'm not stressed out. I'm not stressed out. We'll lower the price further. I can't believe it took four months to sell that property. I didn't even make enough money. Get Lily out swing set for her birthday. Why didn't anybody ever teach me how to sell high? <laughs> okay. Now I'm dating myself, everybody, with these uh, seven-digit uh, phone numbers. But uh, anyhow, um, let's help out that poor investor. So when my real estate partner, Scott, and I decided to uh, came up with this model, we predicted accurately that there would be three exit strategies. 
all right? Or three outcomes is a better word, because it's really only one thing that we do. We market our homes for sale or lease option. But we were wrong. There are four outcomes, and the fourth will be really exciting. Let's have a look at the first three and the fourth, which was the surprise outcome. The first outcome is you put an ad in the paper for sale or lease option, and somebody answers the ad who wants to buy the property. Well, the extra traffic you're generating for the lease purchase is going to help you to flip and maximize your price. Uh, Wally and his son, Jason, their first REO, after they got our system, they flipped it for $28,000. Again, when I'm live, I ask the question, does anybody have a problem with five or six of these a year? Typically, the answer is no. So the second outcome is we don't flip it. We put it on a lease option and a family exercises their option in the third year. It's almost always in the third year. Don't ask me why, that's just the way it is. But because you've held onto the property, you're now making money from tax benefits, from cash flow, whatever debt instrument you use, you get more and more equity each month. So now these properties that are transacted after three years, you're now making 45, 60, 65, 70,000. Again, I ask people, anybody have a problem with four or five of these a year? The answer is resounding, that's absolutely fine. The third outcome is they don't buy. Now you may wonder, well, why aren't they buying, Andy? Your terms are fair. There's, my terms are fair, but there's lots of reasons why divorce is a common reason, job transfer. Sometimes they just can't get uh, the, their financial house in order. What happens then is you get the property back. It's almost always in better condition. Why? Because they expected to buy. They didn't treat the property like a rental. And now you just put it right back on the market. But typically, if it's two, three, four years later, there's been appreciation and whatever the appreciation is, the property goes back on the market at that higher price. So this third group of properties will transact between year five and year 10 to the second or third family. But now you're going to make 70, 85, 100,000 a pop. Again, who here is okay with three or four of these a year? Everybody's pretty happy about that. And the, the, the fourth option surprised us. We weren't ready for it. We call this the gravy train. Now for this option, everybody, for this option, what happens is the we learned at the end of three years, many of these families were, were ready to buy, sorry, were not ready to buy. They were taking care of the property but they still wanted the opportunity to buy. Well, some lease option investors teach will kick them out and go and go find another family. No, no, no. A is not the fair thing to do, but it's also not the lucrative thing to do. We take this document and we roll the original agreement into a series of automatic one-year renewals. And what you're looking at right now is the second property we ever bought 32 years ago. That's right. This family has in 29 renewal periods. I don't know why they haven't bought. I don't really care. But th the point there is that many of these families will end up staying long-term, but they'll be staying under a lease option. And they're pro I, we, they probably will never buy the property but they expect to buy and that expectation will ensure that they pay their rent, they take care of the property and they help you pay off your mortgage. So what should it look like if you utilize our system? What should you expect? This next slide kind of brings everything together. You're going to buy some properties and you're going to flip them for immediate gain, making 25, 35, 50,000 a pop. A second group of properties will not be flipped. The original family will transact. They'll exercise their option to buy, typically in the third year. So on these, you're going to make 45, 60, 75,000. A third group of properties where the second or third family will transact somewhere between year five and year 10. And on these, you're going to make 70, 85, 100,000. 
And finally, a fourth group of properties where you're, you have the same family in 10 years or longer. These families will almost never buy, but any middle income lease option that you've held for 10 years with the same tenant is worth at least 200,000 plus to you. Now, when I'm live at this point, I ask everybody to answer this question. Raise your hand if this picture was you, if it would change your life as you know it today. And everybody raises their hands. Then I said, put them down. Now, let me ask you another question. Look at this picture. Look at this picture. A lot of times when people get up on stage and other educators, they talk about numbers, they, they, they paint pictures that are just not realistic. Do you realize you're looking right now at less than 15 homes. So for every one of you, that's four or five properties per year for three or four years. Then I ask a question, raise your hand, everybody, if you, that sounds realistic and doable, and everybody puts their hand up. That's it. Three, four, or five properties a year for three, four, or five years, this is your picture. Less than 15 homes to move the needle. So if you change the way you sell South Florida, this is what you need to know. When you do it my way, it completely changes the entire selling experience for you and has the biggest impact on putting new dollars in your bank account. When you use it, you'll have an immediate edge in your marketplace. You'll sell your homes for top dollar while other investors are discounted. And finally, you'll cash out on more deals while other investors are equity rich and cash poor. So before we take a few questions, all right? So line up your questions if you don't have them yet. I'll take some questions until Alexa tells us we have to stop. I want to talk about why, what is special right now? Why is this a really good opportunity? All right? Remember what I said earlier? Pretend it was 2007 and some angel comes from the future, like the angel in the upper right-hand corner, and whispers in your ear, hey, Alexa, I'm from the future. In 2008, the market is going to reset and there'll be a sale, a real estate sale for two, three or four years. The two ways you're gonna be making money is REOs and lease options. If you do the following couple things now, you'll be ready for that. Every one of you would act on that. Well, I'm not from the future. <laughs> I'm also not an angel, but I'm pretending to be one, all right? And I'm whispering in your ear, ladies and gentlemen, the signs that we are seeing right now are the same signs that were occurring in 06 and 07, and that led to the opportunity of a lifetime for investors who were ready. When these markets reset, arguably the two best ways for investors in real estate to make money are REOs and lease options. REOs because most of the deals that were out there are going to be bank-owned property. In most communities around the country, after 08 reset, the percentage of, of property selling that were bank-owned were between 20 and 45%. Wow. And that's retail figures. Now, typically these resets mean we're in recessionary times. And in recessionary times, it's going to be really difficult for you to flip properties, which makes the lease option the absolute best way for you to market your properties and cash in down the road. I don't teach one of these topics. I teach them both. And that's why right now, this Saturday, could be the most important day of your investing career. The buy low, rent smart, and sell high model. It's always works, guys. I've done it for 34 years. I've taught it for 18 years. But there are peak opportunities to buy when we always try to buy most of our properties. And we're headed for one of those opportunities right now. So before we talk about register, registering for Saturday and take a, take a few questions, I want to offer you something special. 
I got a great product. You can see it on our website. You can pay $29.95 for it on our website. We talk about 10 different ways to buy low, including our preferred way, bank-owned properties or REOs. Or you can attend Saturday's workshop, and we will give this to you for free at the conclusion of the workshop. So this is my bonus to give you to attend to learn how to make a ton of money. So <clears throat> this Saturday, here is your registration code. The real estate investor is the most important day of your investing career. And thanks to uh, uh, Alexa and Anish, it's free. Just register below and get ready to make millions when the real estate market resets. So Miss Alexa, I hope that we have some time for some questions. Uh, I promise I would get through my, my seminar and leave time. So uh, if you want to ask the questions, but what I want to say to all of you is I know that most of the people have a few questions when I do the, the, the 60 minute seminar, but most of these important topics that I'm spending two, three or four minutes on tonight, I will spend a half an hour plus on, on Saturday and your questions will be answered. I will show you how we use the foreclosure list. We'll talk about the phone calls to the bank. I will show you how we calculate what is the right price to pay. We'll talk about negotiation tips on lease options. I'll talk about our terms and I'll tell you about how we select those right families. All right. So Alexa, fire yes. away. Let's do some oh questions. my gosh. I'm just obsessed with the chat section right now. I <laughs> see you guys are already registered for Saturday, which makes me so happy. And I can just tell you right now, um, go ahead and scan the QR code on the screen or press that link in the chat that I threw in there, that friendly link um, to get registered for Saturday. But you guys that are already registered, just so you have a quick heads up, you will be getting an email from me tomorrow for everyone who's already registered with your one pager that I'm going to ask for you to print out or have in a PDF that you can you know, type in there next to you for the workshop on Saturday. And just a heads up, I know you guys wanna run and go to bed. I know you do, but please stay on until the end. There will be cameras on and microphones on, on Saturday. So you guys be ready. Don't please have some clothes on. <laughs> you know, we can't <laughs> see you. We can't see you guys tonight, but on Saturday we will see you. So please keep that in mind. I will shut your camera off really quick if you are not dressed. So um, we are excited. It, uh, to see and you. I'll say, uh, uh, Alexa, it's early. If you don't want to shower, there's always the baseball cap that says Florida Gators. You can wear that and we'll be fine. But oh my absolutely, gosh. absolutely don't miss out on Saturday. Yes. Go ahead, Alexa. And, you know, in the camp, like, you know, we can you can just kind of zoom out a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> um, you guys, we're gonna get to see you. We're gonna to get to hear from you. You're going to be super engaged with Andy on Saturday. This is a very interactive session. So please get ready for Saturday. We're super excited to have you guys. And I will be sending each and every one of you an email um to prepare on how to prepare best for the training on Saturday. So look out for that tomorrow and go get registered tonight so we can get you prepped and ready to go for Saturday. Um, and yes, we do have a lot of, we'll, we do have a lot of questions in here, but I'm kind of like reading through them and some of them will be best for Saturday, but just to, for the sake of time, let's get to some of the questions here about Saturday. So I have some questions I'll read to you, Andy, but I have one here that I know I can answer super quickly for everyone in here. Um, Saturday's session will be recorded. So if you have to head out early or if you miss it for any reason, you can catch the replay. But of course, you know, you're not going to get that time to engage with Andy and ask the questions. But I will have the replay available for you. It will only be live for you guys to watch for two weeks. I will cut it, I will have to cut it off and, you know, take it, you know, take the access away. Um, you guys only have two weeks with that recording. So please, you might as well come if you can make it, cancel your plans, like Andy said, um, so you can be there, you know, and be present. Um, it's just something that comes to me personally is, you know, the likelihood of you watching the replay. Some of you guys do, which I love, but you want to just be there. So love that you asked that question. Thank you, Michael. 
All right, lots of questions here. Okay, so um, this is a good question for Saturday, I think, Pascal, but you mentioned the person who is leasing can build their own down payment to buy the property. Can you explain how that works? Sure. That's a Saturday question. There are, it's a Saturday question, but I'll give you guys a preview. So there are six key terms of a lease option, and one of the terms is called applied rent. And a portion of the rent is available to the tenant if they exercise their option to buy. If they don't, that money stays with you. So by paying the rent over three years, this portion adds up over 36 months. And for many tenants, it's enough for their down payment. That's your answer. Good stuff. Thank you so much, Andy. All righty. So thank you for this question, Henry. Have you seen any market location in South Florida where the rent smart model might be less frequent or not? as are not a design or a not desirable option? Great question. The answer is um, not a market, but a type of property. And I'll be spending a lot of time on this on Saturday. Lease options, uh, everybody has a sweet spot. It's called middle income property, okay? Middle income is not a number. Middle income is a range from lower middle income to upper middle income. So it's not about the location of uh, per se, it's about really the subdivision. If it's a high-end subdivision, if it's a low-end subdivision, it's not right for lease option. If it's middle income, whether it's in South Florida, in the Tampa Bay area, Jack's, uh, Tallahassee, it can work. Thank you, Andy. Appreciate that. And Michael, oh, I'm so sorry you can you have meetings on Saturday already because I know you have a lot of questions. So let's try to get them in here. So um, will some judges refuse to evict non-paying tenants when you collect large option fees, 20000 to 50000 plus? Uh, I got a great answer. I don't know. But that's not what we do. And what you actually are inferring with your question is a reason why some investors get in trouble with lease options. Because what they're really trying to do is rip people off. In our country, there's people who are, are credit poor, but they're not cash poor. So some lease option investors, they're preying on these people. We're not. We're, we're asking for a much more nominal down payment and therefore, we've never encountered that problem, ever. Thank you, Andy. Alrighty. What percent, what percent of your LO buyers cash you out? Good question. The answer is, I can't really give you a statistic because it's a running number. And let me explain what I mean by that. Um, <clears throat> the, depending on the economy, somewhere between 20 and 40% will buy within those first three years. Okay? So that's probably the answer you're looking for. But what I meant by it's a run-in number is we've got a lot of our families in extension periods. So they haven't yet defaulted. They haven't yet bought. They're in limbo. So they're until they do one of those two things, I can't finalize your answer. But in the original three years, that number is going to be between 20 and 40. Righty. Thank you so much for that. All right. What is your average ratio option fee house value? Oh, well, the, the, now that's, that's a very difficult question to answer because middle income in South Florida is not going to be the same as middle income in South Dakota. Okay. So um, what, for what I know about South Florida, Middle income is probably the range. Remember, lower middle income, the upper, probably somewhere around 200, 250 on the low end to 800 to 900 on the high end. And that's a pretty healthy range. OK, um, to be completely frank, the lease option works fantastic anywhere within those ranges. The key is to make sure that you're doing lease options in middle income communities. Now, that being said, I have some students who've been successful with low-end properties and some with high-end. I've got students who've done commercial. I've done a commercial property too on a rent smart lease option. But the sweet spot for residential is that middle income range. And that range is changing based on the economy, 
and the part of the country. Awesome. Thank you so much, Andy. All righty, last call for questions, you guys. We have 10 minutes. So please, please put your questions in the Q&A box. I also have this entire session tonight recorded. It will be available on our YouTube channel within 48 hours. So please go click the link in the chat for you um, for you all. Just go ahead and click that in the chat. It's the YouTube channel link. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and you will get a notification as soon as this replay is posted. So and, uh, within 48 hours, guys. Alexa, so Alexa allow me amount, allow me if you could the last couple minutes once yes. once we're done with the last question. I want to kind of summarize before we say goodnight to everybody. Of course. So here we have one question that popped in and thank you so much, Bob. Love that feedback. Uh, he said, great teaser for Saturday. Looking forward to seeing <laughs> all of it. I love that. We'll see him on Saturday. Thank you, Bob. Um, Michael here, want, what option fee do you get for $400,000 house? Well, we typically recommend, Michael, um, 1%. I have students who've gone a little bit higher, but now, right now, you may be saying, Andy, that sounds kind of low. It is kind of low, but we get more money from them, not written up as option money. And for that, I'll say you have to attend on Saturday. <laughs> now I got you. <laughs> I will, I will expand on that on Saturday. Absolutely. And once again, you guys look out for my email for the preparation tips um, and your other little goodies that you'll get for Saturday. Um, what else do I have for you all? Um, goodness gracious. Yes, the replay will be available. We are recording Saturday. It'll only be available for two weeks. Oh, yes. And you guys get a free book for attending on Saturday, the 10 ways to buy low. So we are welcome. <laughs> we it's, thought, an e we, it's an ebook, though. We we want to make sure of, there, you know, yes, it's, it's not a physical e book. book. It's an ebook. An ebook. We love to save the trees as much as we can. So mm -hmm. love that. Um, gosh, you guys, we've thought of everything. I feel like we were on point tonight. So let's go ahead and get on with the raffle. Yes. Thank you, Erica. Thank you. So little drum roll. I do have a raffle winner for the one year uh, free membership to BCF Maria. And congratulations, George. Um, C, I want to, or sorry, George N, George N, I didn't want to get that wrong. So congrats, George N, so happy for you. I will get in touch, in touch with you on your membership either tonight or tomorrow morning. So congrats, George, we're happy for you and um, I will get you your free membership from tomorrow morning. So congratulations, everyone. Good luck. Next time we see you will be Saturday with Andy. If not, we will see you on Tuesday with Anish or techniques to get better pricing with sellers and buyers. But please, uh, you guys, scan the code right there. And um, Andy has some more things he wants to tell you guys. Yeah, so I, uh, stay on, please. Yeah, I, I just want to give people a sense of what's going to happen on, on Saturday. Uh, if you found my answers today to be um, good, uh, knowledgeable, is a better word. Uh, Saturday is not what you got today. Today was it really, I only have 60 minutes. It's one way conversation. I talk, people listen. Saturday is very interactive. Those who attended my workshop uh, two years ago will tell you they, they learned a ton. I budget about two hours for your questions. Now I will pace us because my goal is to get through as much of my content as possible in the day that I have you. Um, but you will have a chance to ask questions. So if you can attend, I don't want to say the word live because it's kind of on, it's, it's a, it's virtual, but if you can attend on Saturday, you'll have an opportunity to ask me a question. If you have it, you wouldn't have that in replay. So always try to attend, uh, uh, live when we're having the event. So it's very interactive. We'll break 50 minutes for lunch, but get, you know, get a sandwich ready for yourself. Um, I do have, uh, you know, short breaks typically during the day, but I, I promise you, I, arguably the most educational and powerful workshop you've ever had, and possibly the most timely real estate seminar, given my topics and where the market is going, okay? I will dive in more into statistics about why 
it looks like there'll be a coming opportunity for investors. And what we need to do today to be in a position to make money when the market resets. The last thing I'll say is if you talk to successful investors who've been investing for 20 or 30 years, they will tell you one thing, probably more than anything else. They buy most of their properties when others are sidelined. That's what they do. It doesn't sound complicated. So how to do that, how to position yourself to buy many properties when the market resets will be a big theme on Saturday. I really enjoyed this. I hope you guys have appreciated the few questions I had right now. And um, let me teach you. Let's get ready for the reset and make a ton of money, guys. Yes, 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 yes. And as you guys know, I said it in the beginning, we had Andy here two years ago and the feedback was insane. You guys love this topic and I get calls all the time about this. So this is why we have Andy here and I can't, I can't stress it enough to please take advantage of all the time on Saturday with Andy, nail him with the questions, get to know him, get to know this method, this strategy, so you can add it to your toolbox. We have a lot of successful investors in this webinar tonight, and you guys can just add this one extra thing to make you a stronger investor. And we're just really, really grateful for the time tonight, Andy. Thank you so, so much for tonight. Um, and you guys can watch this replay. You can share it with a friend, um, share it with your loved ones. If you love them, you'll share this information with them, get a team going. You guys know what to do. Um, but thank you so much again, Andy. This was amazing. And <laughs> we'll see you guys. We'll see you guys on Saturday. So please look out for my follow-up email. I'm going to email each and every one of you tonight with my contact information and with some more details, where to find the YouTube channel, things like that. Um, and please let me know if you have absolutely any questions. If you have any other follow-up questions for Andy, if I can't answer it. I will get the question answered for you. Um, so I'm here for you guys. Let me know what I can do. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Night Thank night. you all See you, for the chat. you guys are amazing. Thank you, Pascal. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you all so much. So George, I'll get in touch with you. You're my raffle winner. Congratulations. And everyone else have an amazing rest of your night. We will see you guys on Saturday. If not, we'll see you guys on Tuesday. So have a great night. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you, Davidson. Thank you, Roger. Awesome. Have a great night. Take care, everybody. Good night, Denise. Bye-bye, guys.